Μην και αίκει στου αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν, κυρία Λέισον, 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 δόξα πατρίκιο και αγιο πνεύμα και νυν και αή, και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Δεύτε προσκυνήσουμε και προσπέσουμε το βασιλείμον Θεό. Δεύτε προσκυνήσουμε και προσπέσουμε Χριστό το βασιλείμον Θεό. Δεύτε προσκυνήσουμε και προσπέσουμε αυτό, Χριστό το Βασιλεί και ημών Θεό. Εν το επικαλείστε με τη άκουσά μου, Θεό τη δικαιοσύνη μου, εν θλίψη επλατινά με, η κτήρισό με και η άκουσό τη προσευχή μου, ή ανθρώπων έω πότε βαρικάρδη, ή να τη αγαπάτε ματαιότητα και ζητείτε ψεύδο, και γνώτε ότι θαυμάστο σε κύριο των όσων αυτού, κύριο ει άκουσετέ μου, Εν το και κραγένε με προς αυτόν, οργίζεστε και μία μαρτάνετε, αλέγετε εν τες καρδίες ημών, επί τες κοίτες ημών κατημήγητε, θύσατε θυσίαν δικαιοσύνης και ελπίσατε επί Κύριον, πολύ λέγουσι, της δείξη ημίν τα αγαθά, η σημειώθη εφημάς σου φως σου προσώπου σου, Κύριε έδωκα σε φροσύνη μη στην καρδία μου, από καρπούσι του ίνου και λέω, αυτόν επιθύνθησαν, Εν ειρήνη, επί το αυτό κινήθησομαι και υπνώσω, ότι σι κύριε κατά μόνα επελπίδη κατόδικάσμε. Our Lord, do not reprove me in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled, and my soul is greatly troubled. But you, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, and deliver my soul. Save me because of your mercy, for there is no remembrance of you in death. And in Hades, who will give thanks to you? I am weary with my groaning. Every single night I will dampen my bed. I will drench my couch with my tears. My eye is troubled by anger. I grow old among all my enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of lawlessness, for the Lord heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord heard my supplication. The Lord received my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. Let them turn back and be suddenly ashamed. Έω πότε, κύριε, πλήση μου ει τέλο, έω πότε αποστρέφει το προσωπών σου απ' εμού, έω τίνο στήσου με βουλά σε ψυχή μου, ο δίνα εν καρδία μου ημέρα και νυχτό, έω πότε υψωθήσετε ο εχθρό μου επ' εμέ, επίβλεψον ει άκουσον μου, κύριε, ο Θεό μου, φώτισον του οφθαλμού μου, μήποτε υπνώσω ει θάνατον, μήποτε ήπει ο εχθρό μου, ίσχυσα προ αυτόν, ή θλίβοντέ με αγαλιάσονται, Εάν σαλευθώ, εγώ δε επί το ελέη σου ήλπισα, αγαλιάσετε η καρδία μου επί το σωτηριό σου, άσω το κυρίο το ευεργετησαν τίμε, και ψαλώ το όνομα τη κυρίου του υψίστου, δόξα πατρίκιο και αγιο πνεύματι, και νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Κύριε Λέισον, Κύριε Λέισον, Κύριε Λέισον. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies laugh at me. For all who wait upon you shall not be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who act lawlessly in vain. Make known your ways to me, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation, and on you I wait all the day. Remember your compassion, O Lord, and your mercy, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth, nor of my ignorance, but remember me according to your mercy, because of your loving kindness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he will instruct sinners in his way. He will guide the gentle in judgment, he will teach the gentle his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for those who seek his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man who fears the Lord? He will instruct him in the way he chooses. His soul shall dwell among the good things. His seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him. And to those who fear him, his name is the Lord. And he will show them his covenant. My eyes are always toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the trap. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart have been widened. Bring me out of my distresses. 
Look at my humi- look on my humiliation and my pain and forgive all my sins. Look at my enemies because they mu- multiply and they hate me with unjustified hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed because I hope in you. The innocent and the upright cleave to me because I wait upon you, O Lord. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Επισή, Κύριε, ελπίσα μη κατασχυνθήνει στον αιώνα, εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου ρίσε με και εξελούμε, πλήνων προς με το ούσου, τα άχυνον του εξελέστε με, γενούμι εις Θεόν υπαρσπιστήν και εις οίκον καταφυγής του σώσε με, ότι κρατέωμά μου και καταφυγή μου εσύ και ένεκεν το ονοματό σου οδήγησες με και διαθρέψεις με, εξάξεις με εκ φαγίδος ταύτης, εις εκρυψάν μη, ότι εσύ, ο επεριπεστής μου, Κύριε, εις χείρα σου, παραθήσω με το πνεύμα μου, ελυτρώσε με, Κύριε, ο Θεός της αληθείας, εμείς εισας τους διαφυλάσσοντας ματαιότητας διακενής, εγώ δε ήπτυκο, Κύριο, ήλπισα, αγαλιάσομαι και φανθήσομαι επί το ελέη σου, ότι επίβεις επί την ταπείνωσή μου, έσωσας, εκ των αναγκών την ψυχή μου και ου συνέκλυσας με ισχύρας εχθρών, έστησας εν ευπροχώρο του σπόδας μου, ελέησον με, Κύριε, ό,τι θλίβομαι, εταράχθη εν θυμό ο φθαλμός μου, η ψυχή μου και η γαστήρ μου, ό,τι εξέλιπεν εν οδύνη η ζωή μου και τα έτη μου εν στεναγμής, εισθένησεν εν πτωχία η ισχύς μου, και τα οστά μου εταράχθησαν, παραπάντα στους εχθρούς μου εγεννήθην ον ειδός, και της γυπτωσή μου σκόδρα και φόβος της γνωστής μου, ή θεωρούντες με έξω έφυγον απ' εμού, επελείστην όσοι νεκρός από καρδίας, εγεννήθην όσοι σκεύος από λολός, ότι ήκουσα ψώγων πολλών παρικούντων κυκλώθεν, εν το επισυναχθήνε αυτούς αμά επε με, του λαβήν την ψυχή μου ευουλεύσαν το. Εγώ δε έπισι, Κύριε, ήλπισα, είπα, Συ ο Θεός μου, εν τες χερσής σου ή κληρή μου, ρίμε με εκ χειρός εχθρών μου και εκ των καταδιοκφόντων με, επίφθανον το πρόσωπό σου επί των δούλων σου, σώσον με εν το ελέη σου, Κύριε, μη κατασχυνθήν ότι επέ καλεσάμινσε, εσχυνθήσαν άσεβης και καταχύσαν εις άδου, άλλαλα γεννηθεί το ταχύλι τα δόλια, τα λαλούντα κατά το δικαίο ανομίαν, εν υπερηφανία και εξουδενώσει, ως πολύ το πλήθος της Χριστότητός σου, Κύριε, εις εκρύψας της φοβουμένης σε, εξηργάσω της ελπίζουν συν επί σέναντίον των ιών των ανθρώπων, κατακρύψεις αυτούς εν αποκρύφω του προσώπου σου από ταραχής ανθρώπων, σκεπάσεις αυτούς εν σκηνή από αντιλογίας γλωσσών, ευλογητός Κύριος, ότι θαυμάστοσε το έλεος αυτού εν πόλη περιοχής, εγώ δε είπα εν τη εκστάση μου, απέριμε από προσώπο των οφθαλμών σου, δια τούτο εις άκουσα στις φωνής της δεησεώς μου, εν το και κραγένε με προσέ, Αγαπήσατε τον Κύριον πάντες οι όσοι αυτού, ότι αλήθειας εξητήσει Κύριος και ανταποδίδωση της περισσός ιούσιν επερηφανία. Ανδρίζεστε και κρατιούστο η καρδία ημών, πάντες οι ελπίζοντες επί Κύριον. He who dwells in the help of the Most High shall lodge in the shelter of the God of Heaven. He shall say to the Lord, You are my protector and my refuge, my God, I will hope in him. For he shall free me from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. He shall overshadow you with his shoulders and under his wings you shall hope. His truth shall encircle you with a shield. You shall not be frightened by fear at night, nor from an arrow that flies by day, nor by a thing moving in darkness, nor by mishap and a demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you but you shall observe with your eyes, and you shall see the reward of sinners. For you, O Lord, are my hope. You made the Most High your refuge. Evils shall not come to you, and a scourge shall not draw near your dwelling. For he, for he shall command his angels concerning you to keep you in all your ways, in their hands, lest they shall bear you up. 
In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the asp and the basilisk, and you shall trample the lion and the dragon. For he hoped in me, and I will deliver him. I will shout to him, because he knew my name. He shall call upon me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver and glorify him. With length of days I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to our God. Alleluia, 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 glory to our God. Alleluia, 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 glory to our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. God is with us, no you nations and be vanquished, for God is with us. Here even to the utmost parts of the earth, for God is with us. Is he God the Sikas, the ultimate one of the Although you should prevail again, yet again you shall be vanquished, for God is with us. Gain and wool in wool of sister, the askeva sikirios, otimethimonothero. And whatever counsel you shall take, the Lord would bring it to nothing, for God is with us. But we will sanctify the Lord our God, and he shall be our fear, for God is with us. Unan epafto pepithos, o este mi sa ye as mon o timethimon o theo. And I will put my trust in him, and through him I shall be saved, for God is with us. In tu ego que ta pethia, Whose government is come upon his shoulder, for God is with us. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, for God is with us. And of his peace there is no end, for God is with us. Wonderful counselor, for God is with us. The mighty God, he that has authority, the Prince of Peace, for God is with us. Patir tu melon do se unos, o ti me thimon o theo. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for God is with us. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. For God is with us. Having passed the day, I give thanks to you, Lord, and I ask of you to grant me the evening and the night without sin, O my Saviour, and save me. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now that the day has gone by, I glorify you, Master. I ask of you to grant me the evening and the night without sin, O my Saviour, and save me. 
both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Having traversed the day, I sing hymns to you, O Holy One. I ask of you to grant me the evening and the night free of plots, O my Saviour, and save me. The bodiless natures, the cherubim, and the six-winged beings, the seraphim, extol and exalt you with endless voice. You, the Father, existing before all things, who has also your Son, co-beginningless. O Holy Virgin, Mother of God, and you servants and witnesses of the world. Παναγία Παρθένε μη τη Θεού, ή των προφητών και μαρτύρων πάντες χωρί, όσα θάνατος έχονται στην ζωή. Intercede with fervor in our behalf, for we are in much suffering and distress. Πιστεύω ει έναν Θεό, Πατέρα Παντοκράτορα, ποιη την ουρανού και γη σωρατώνται πάντων και αοράτων, και ει έναν κύριο Ιησούν Χριστών, τον Ιόν του Θεού, τον Μονογενή, τον εκ του Πατρό γεννηθέντα προπάντων των αιώνων, φω εκ φωτό, Θεών αληθινών, εκ Θεού αληθινού, γεννηθέντα ουπιηθέντα, ομοούσιον του Πατρί, διού τα πάντα εγένετο, των διημάστου ανθρώπου, και δια την ημετέραν σωτηρίαν, κατελθόντα εκ των ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα εκ Πνεύματος Αγίου και Μαρία της Παρθένου και ενανθρωπίσαντα, σταυρωθέντα τε υπερημών επί ποντίου πιλάτου και παθώντα και τα φέντα και αναστάντα τη τρίτη ημέρα κατά τας γραφάς και ανελθόντα εις τους ουρανούς και καθεζόμενον εκ δεξιών του Πατρός και πάλι ερχόμενον μεταδόξης κρίνε ζώντες και νεκρούς που της Βασιλείας σου και στη τέλος, και εις το Πνεύμα το Άγιον, το Κύριον το Ζώοποιον, το εκ του Πατρός εκπορευόμενον, το Συν Πατρί και Υιό συμπροσκυνούμενον, και συνδοξαζόμενον, το Λαλίσαν Διά των Προφητών, εις μίαν Αγίαν Καθολικήν και Αποστολικήν Εκκλησίαν, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εις άθεσιν αμαρτωλήν, αμαρτιών, Προσδοκώ ανάσταση νεκρών και ζωήν του μέλλοντος αιώνος. Αμήν. Ω, ω, Holy Lady, the Theotokos, intercede for us who are sinners. Παναγία Δέσποινα Θεοτόκε, πρέσβευε υπέρ ημών των αμαρτωνών. O Holy Lady, the Theotokos, intercede for us who are sinners. Άσε ουράνιε δυναμίς των Αγίων Αγγέλων και Αρχαγγέλων, πρεσβεύσατε υπέρ ημών των αμαρτωλών. O you heavenly hosts of holy angels and archangels, intercede for us who are sinners. Και πρόδρομε και βαπτιστά του κυρίου η μόνη σου Χριστού. Πρέσβευε υπέρ ημών των αμαρτωλών. Ο Σαν Τζον, πρόφερ και φορέα, και βαπτιστή του Αγίου Ιησού Χριστού, intercede for us who are sinners. Οι ένδοξοι Απόστολοι, προφήτε και μάρτυρε και πάντε οι Αγίοι. O holy, glorious apostles, prophets, and martyrs, and all saints, intercede for us who are sinners. 
Όσοι θεοφόροι πατέρες ημών ποιμένες και διδάσκαλοι της οικουμένης πρεσβεύσατε υπέρ ημών των αμαρτωλών. Αγήτητος και ακατάλητος και θεία δύναμης του τιμίου και ζωπίου σταυρού μη εγκαταλείπεις ημάς του αμαρτωλού. Ο invincible and disabled and divine power of the honored and life-giving cross, forsake not us who are sinners. God be gracious to us who are sinners. Ο Θεός η λάστη τιμή της αμαρτωλής και δεισόνη μας. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities. For your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Φώτισον τους οφθαλμούς μου, Χριστέ ο Θεός, μη ποτέ υπνώσω, εις θάνατον μη ποτέ είπε ο εχθρός μου, ίσχυσα προς Αυτόν. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι, αντιλήπτορ της ψυχής μου, γενού Θεός, ότι μέσον διαβαίνω παγίδων πολλών, ρίσε με εξ Αυτόν και σώσον με, Αγαθέος φιλάνθρωπος, γεννήν και αίκη στους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, ότι ουκ έχομεν παρησίαν διάτα, πολλά ημών αμαρτήματα, σύτωνε σου γεννηθέν τα δυσόπισον θεωτό και παρθένε, πολλά γαρισχή ιδέησης μητρός, προσευμένη αντεσπότη, μη παρήβης αμαρτωλών ηθυσίας υπάνσευνος, ότι ελεή μονεστή και σώζειν δυνάμενος, ο, ε, ο και πατήν υπέρ ημών σαρκή καταδεξάμενος. Our Lord, you know the wakefulness. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Kirelation, 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 Kirelation. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You, without corruption, gave birth to God the Word, and a truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Lord, Lord, who have delivered us from every arrow that flies by day, <clears throat> deliver us from anything that lurks about in darkness, except the lifting up of our hands as an evening sacrifice. Make us worthy to traverse the time of night and blamelessly untouched by evil, and redeem us from every disturbance and fear caused by the devil. Grant contrition to our souls and concern to our minds about the accounting at your awesome and just judgment. Nail down our bodies with your fear and deaden our earthly members, so that even in the quiet of our slumber we may be enlightened by the contemplation of your ordinances. Keep away from us every indecent fantasy and harmful desire. Awaken us in the time of prayer rooted in the faith and thriving in your instructions through the goodwill and goodness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before our King and God. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and bow down before the very Christ our King and our God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy. 
and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my law lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you, hold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and the secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop, and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins, and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew the right, a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will, be, will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will, not, you will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. Kyrie Isakuson tis prosevkis mou ke ikravdi mou prose el feto. Mi apostrepsi sto prosopon sou ape mou. Eni ani mera tlivo me. Klinom bros me to usu. Eni ani mera epikalesso me. Se tahi epakuson mou. Oti exeli pen. Osi kapnos e imere mou. Ke ta osta mou osi frigion. Συνεφρήγησαν, επλήγην ο συχόρτος και ξηράνθη η καρδία μου ότι επελανθόμην του φαγήν το άρτο μου από φωνή του στεναγμού μου εκολύθη το, το οστό μου της αρχή, της αρχή εκολύθη τον οστό μου της αρχή μου εομοιώθην πελεκάνη ερημικό εγεννήθην ο συνυκτικόραξ εν οικοπαίδο τη γρύπνησα και εγενόμην ω τρουθίων νομάζων επί ύδατος, όλη την ημέρα ονίγιζόν με οι εχθροί μου και επενεούντες με κατ' εμού όμνιον, ότι σποδών ως οι άρτων έφαγον και το πόμα μου με τα κλαθμού εκείρνον από προσώπου της οργής σου και του θυμού σου ότι επάραξ, κα, κατέραξάς με ε, η μέρα μου ως οι σκιά εκλήθησαν Καγώ ω η χόρτο εξηράνθη. Σίδε κύριε, ει τον αιώνα μένει και το μνημόσυνο σου ει γενεάν και γενεάν. Σι αναστά, εκτηρήσει την Σιών, ότι καιρό του εκτηρήσε αυτήν. Ότι οίκη καιρό, ότι ευδόκησαν οι δουλεί σου του λίθου αυτή και τον χουν αυτή εκτηρήσουσι και φοβηθήσονται τα έθνη το όνομά σου, κύριε και πάντα. Η βασιλή τη γη στην δόξα σου, ότι οικοδομήσει κύριο την Σιών και οχθήσετε εν τη δόξη αυτού. Επέβλεψον επί την προσευχή των ταπεινών και ούκ εξουδένωσε την δέηση αυτών. Γραφεί το αυτή η γενεάν επέραν και λαό οπτιζόμενο. Ενέσει τον κύριον, ότι εξέκυψεν εξ ύψου αγίου αυτού. Κύριο εξ ουρανού επί την γη επέβλεψεν. Του ακούσε του στεναγμού των πεπεδημένων, του λύσε του ιού των πεθανατωμένων, και αναγγείλει εν σιών το όνομα κυρίου και την ένεση αυτού εν Ιερουσαλήμ, εν το συναχθήνε λαού επί το αυτό και βασιλεί του δουλήν των κυρίων. Α, απεκρίθη αυτό εν οδό ισχύω αυτού, την ολιγότητα των ημερών μου ανάγκελών μη. Μη αναγάγει με εν η μισή μου μέρα, εν γενεάν γενεών τα έτη σου. Καταρχά, η κύριε, την γύνε με θεμελίο σα και έργα των χειρών σου, η σύνη ουρανή. Αυτοί απολούνται εσύ διαμένει και πάντα πάντε ω ημάτιον παλαιωθήσονται και ω υπεριβόλιον ελήξει αυτού και αλλαγίσονται. Σίδε ο αυτόσι και τα έτη σου ουκ εκλείψουσιν. Η ή των δούλων σου κατασκηνώσουσι και το σπέρμα αυτών στον αιώνα κατευθυνθήσετε. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and of their righteous seed, 
who created the heaven and the earth with all their adornment, who bound the sea by the word of your command, who shut up the abyss and scaled it with your awesome and glorious name, whom all things dread and before whose power they tremble, because the majesty of your glory is unbearable and the threat of your anger against the sin is unendurable. Yet the mercy of your promise is both immeasurable and unfathomable, for you are the Lord most high, compassionate, long-suffering and all-merciful, and relent on the wickedness of man. You, Lord, in the multitude of your goodness, promised repentance and forgiveness to those who have sinned against you, and in your infinite compassion appointed repentance for sinners that they may be saved. Therefore, Lord, the God of the powers, you have not appointed repentance for the righteous Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who have not sinned against you, but you appointed repentance for me, the sinner. For I have committed more sins than the grains of the sand of the sea. My transgressions have multiplied, Lord. My transgressions have multiplied, and I am not worthy to look up and see the height of the strive from the multitude of my iniquities. Being weighted down by him, being weighted down, by many iron chains, so that I cannot raise my head. There is no respite left for me, because I provoked your anger and committed evil before you, not having done your will and not having kept your commandments. And now I bend the knee of my heart, beseeching your goodness. I have sinned, Lord, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. But I beg and ask of you, forgive me, Lord, forgive me, and do not destroy me with my transgressions. Do not be angry with me forever and keep my evils in me. And do not condemn me to the depths of the earth. For you are God, the God of those who repent, and in me you shall show all your goodness. For even though I am unworthy, you shall save me according to the multitude of your mercy. And I shall praise you without ceasing all the days of my life. For every heavenly power sings your praises, and yours is the glory to, unto the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Άιος ο Θεός, Άιος ισχυρός, Άιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Άιος ο Θεός, Άιος ισχυρός, Άιος αθάνατος ελέησον ημάς. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι και νυν και αείκαι στους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Παναγία Τριάς ελέησον ημάς, Κύρια Ιλάς της αμαρτίας ημών. Δέσποτα συμφόρεσον τας ανομίας ημίν, Άγιε επίσκεψε και ίασε τας ασθενίας ημών, ένα και του όνοματός σου. Κύριε Λέησον, κύριε Λέησον, κύριε Λέησον. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι και νυν και αεί και στους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Πάτερ ημών, ο εν της ουρανής, αγιαστεί το όνομά σου, ελθέτω η βασιλεία σου, γεννηθεί το το θέλημά σου, ως εν ουρανών και επί της γης, των άρθων ημών των επιούσιων, δώσ' ημίν σήμερον και άφεσ' ημίν τα οφειλήματα ημών, ως και ημίς αυτοί εμεν τις οφειλέτες ημών, και μη εις εν έγκης ημάς εις πειρασμών, αλλά ρίσε ημάς από του πονηρού. Ότι σου έστε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα, του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Άγιου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι, Κύριε Λέησον ημάς, επί σίγαρτε πείθομεν, μη οργησείς ημιν σφόδρα, μη δέμνησείς των ονομίων ημών, αλλά επίβλεψον και νύνος εσπλαχνός, και λύτρωσα ημάς εκ των εχθρών ημών, σίγαρη Θεός ημών και ημις λαός σου, πάντες έργα χείρος σου και το όνομά σου επί και κλίμεθα. Now and ever and in the ages of ages, amen. The doors of caring do now open unto us, O most blessed Theodorus, so that hoping in you we shall not fail. Through you we may be delivered from adversities, for you are the salvation of the Christian faith. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Kyrie eleison, 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 Kyrie eleison. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Κυρία Λέισον, 
δόξα πατρί και ιό και γιο πνεύματι και νυν και ή και στους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, την τιμιωτέραν των χερουβείμ και εν δοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτως των σεραφείμ, την αδιαφθόρος θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντως θεοτόκων σε μεγαλύνομεν, εν ονόματι Κυρίου ευλόγησον πάτε. Διευχών των Αγίων Πατέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, ελέησον και σώσον ημάς. Αμήν. Our Master, God, Father, Almighty, only begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit, one God had one power. Have mercy on me, a sinner, and in your knowing way save me, your unworthy servant, for you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and bow down before our King and God. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ, our King and God. Come, let us worship and bow down before the very Christ, our King and our God. O God, give heed to help me. O Lord, make haste to help me. May those who seek my soul be dishonored and shamed. May those who plot evils against me be turned back and disgraced. May those be turned back immediately who shame me, saying, Well done, well done. May all who seek you greatly rejoice and be glad in you. And let those who love your salvation always say, Let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy, God, help me. You are my helper and deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. Κύριε, εισάκουσαν τη προσευχή μου, ενώ τη σε την δέησή μου εν τη αληθεία σου. Εισάκουσαν μου την δικαιοσύνη σου και μη εισέλθει ει κρίση μετά του δούλου σου. Ότι ού δικαιωθήσετε ενώπιον σου παζών. Ότι κατεδίωξαν ο εχθρό την ψυχή μου. Εταπείνωσαν ει γην τη ζωή μου. Εκάθισε με εν σκοτεινή νεκρούς αιώνος νεκρού αιώνο και κυδίασαν επεμέ το πνεύμα μου. Εν εμία ταράχτη καρδία μου. Εμνή στην ημερών αρχαίων εμελέτησα εν βάση τη έργη σου. Εμπίμα στον χειρών σου μελέτων. Διαπέτασα προσέτα χείρα μου, ψυχή μου ως γη ανιδρώσει. Ταχύ εισάκουσο μου, κύριε, εξέλιπε το πνεύμα μου. Μια αποστρέψει στο πρόσωπό σου απ' εμού και ομοιωθήσω με τι καταβαίνω συνεισλάφων. Ακουστόν πει ισόμι το πρωί το ελαιό σου, ότι επίση ήλπισα. Γνώρισον μου, κύριε, οδόν ενυπορεύσω με, ότι προσήγρα την ψυχή μου. Εξελούμε εκ των εχθρών μου, κύριε, προσέ κατέφυγον. Δίδαξό με του ποιήν το θέλημά σου, ότι είσαι ο Θεό μου. Το πνεύμα σου το άγιο να οδηγήσει με ενή ευθεία, είναι και του ονοματό σου, κύριε. Ζήσει με. Εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου εξάξει, εκθλίψε ω την ψυχή μου. Και εν το ελέη σου εξολοθρέψει στου εχθρού μου. Και απολύ πάντα σου στρίβοντα την ψυχή μου. Ό,τι εγώ δούλο σου είμαι. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will to men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, and we thank you for your great glory. Lord King, Heavenly God, Father Almighty, Only Begotten Son, Lord Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, the Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, <coughs> who take away the sins of the world. Accept our supplication, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For you are the only Holy One, you are the only Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every evening I shall bless you, I shall praise your name forever and unto the ages of ages. Lord, you have become for us a refuge from generation to generation. I have said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Grant, O Lord, that in this night we may be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, Lord, come upon us just as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy remains forever. Do not turn away from the works of your hands. To you belongs praise, to you belongs a hymn. To you belongs glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Βοηθός και σκεπαστής μου εγενετώ μη, η σωτηρίαν ούτως μου Θεός και δοξάσω Αυτόν. Θεός του Πατρός μου και υψώσω Αυτόν, εν δόξος γάρδε δόξαστε. He became for me a helper and a shelterer for salvation. He is my God and I will glorify him, the God of my Father and him I will exalt, for he is greatly glorified. Ελέησον με ο Θεό, ελέησον με. Ο αμνό του Θεού, αίρον πάντων τα αμαρτία, άρον των κλειών από νου, των βαρύν των τη αμαρτία, και ω έσπλαχνόμοι δό δάκρυα κατανήξεω. 
Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I fall down, Jesus, at your feet. I have sinned against you. Be merciful to me. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in your compassion, O God, accept me in repentance. Eleison me, O Theo, eleison me, mi iselfis me temu, en curis inferon muta ta praktea logus exiton, ke ephthinon ormas, allen ictirmisu paroron mu ta dina soson me, pandu dina me. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. It is time for repentance. To you I come, my Creator. Take from me the heavy yoke of sin, and in your compassion give me tears of compunction. Ελέησον με ο Θεός, ελέησον με την ουσία της ψυχής καταναλώσας τη αμαρτία, έρημος ή μη αρετών ευσεβών λιμώτων, δε κράζω, ο ελέος χορηγός προφθάσας ή με εκτήρμον. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Bowing before the divine laws of Christ, you drew near to him, forsaking the unburdled longings of sensual pleasure. And in the fear of God, you gained all the virtues as if they were one. Ελέης, δόξα πατρί και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι, η περούσια τριάς, η εν μονάδι προσκυνούμεν, προσκυνουμένη, άρον των θηριών, απ' εμού βα, το βαρύν, τον της αμαρτίας, και, σο, και ως εύσπλαχνος μη δός δάκρυα κατανοίξεως. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, the hope and protection of those who sing your praises, take from me the heavy yoke of sin, O pure lady, accept me in repentance. Είδετε, είδετε ότι εγώ είμαι Θεός, ο μάνα επομπρίσεις και το είδωρ εκ πέτρας πηγάς σας, πάλι εν ερήμω το λαό μου, τη μόνη δεξιά και τη ισχύει τη εμή. See now that I am God who rained down manna in the days of old and made springs of water flow from the rock for my people in the wilderness by my right hand and by my power alone. Eleison me, O Theos, eleison me. Andra apectina pisinis molopa emi ke neaniskon is travma lame trinon evoa side ut tremis ο ψυχή μου ρηποθήσα την σάρκα και τον νουν κατά σπηλώσασα. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Skillful, skillfully you plan to build a tower, O my soul, and to establish a stronghold for your lusts. But the Creator confounded your designs and dashed your devices to the ground. Ελέησον με ο Θεός, ελέησον με. Όπως εζήλωσα, λάμε εφ' των πρωίν πον ευτήν την ψυχή νος περάνδρα τον νουν ως νεανίσκον τους αδελφών δε μου το σώμα αποκτήνας. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Roused to anger by their transgressions, the Lord once rained down fire from heaven and burnt up the men of Sodom. And you, my soul, have kindled the fire of Gehenna, and there to your bitter sorrow you shall burn. Eleison me, O Theos, eleison me. Tetro me, peplig me, idu ta veli tu hechthru και καταστήξαν τα μου την ψυχή και το σώμα, ειδού τα τραύματα, τα έλκη επιρώσεις, βοώσει τα σπληγάστων αυθερέτων μου παθών. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Sunk in the abyss of wickedness, O Mary, you lifted up your hands to the merciful God, and as to Peter in his loving kindness, he stretched out his hand to you in help, seeking in every way your conversion. Αν αρχαιάκτιστε τριά αμέριστε μονά, μετανοούντα με δέξα η μαρτυκότα σώσον, σον ή μη πλάσμα, μη παρήγε, αλλά φύσε και ρίσε πυρό τη καταδίκη με. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, Amen. Most pure lady, mother of God, hope of those who run to you and the haven of the storm tossed, pray to the merciful God, your creator and your son, that he may grant his mercy even to me. Στερέωσον, Κύριε, επί την πέτρα των εντολών Σου, σαλευθήσαν την καρδία μου, ότι μόνος Άγιος υπάρχεις και Κύριος. Establish upon the rock of your commandments my heart, O Master, sorely shaken as it is, O Lord. Only you are holy, and again, only you are Lord. Ελέησον με ο Θεός, ελέησον με. Τι άγαρ πάλε ψυχή, τι Αιγυπτία παρομοιώθεις. Δουλωθήσα την προαίρεσιν και τεκούσα νέον Ισμαήλ την αυτάδιον. 
Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You know, my soul, the ladder that was shown to Jacob, reaching up from earth to heaven. Why have you not provided a firm foundation for it through your godly actions? Eleison me, O Dios, eleison me, toni erea tu, tu basilea me monomenon, tu Christu, tu afie, afo mioma, tu en cosmo, viu en anthropis, mi mythiti. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Turn back, wretched soul, and lament before the marketplace of life comes to an end, before the Lord shuts the door of the bridal chamber. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Reject not, O Master, the prayer of those who sing your praises, but in your loving kindness be merciful and grant forgiveness to them that ask with faith. Doxa patri ke yo ke yo pnevmati, monas apli aktiste anarchiaptisis i entriadi, imnumenin ipostaseon imas soson pisti proskinundas ton kratos su. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of God, without knowing man, you gave birth within time to the Son who was begotten outside time from the Father. And strange wonder, you nurse him while still remaining virgin. On hearing your advent, O Lord, the prophet Habakkuk of old was frightened that you purposed from a virgin to be born and appeared to humankind. And thus he said, O Lord, I have heard your report and I am frightened. Glory to your strength, O Lord, my God. Eleison me, O Theos, eleison me, o chronos o tis zoeis mou, o ligos ke pliris ponon ke ponirias, alen metania me paralave, και εν επιγνώσει ανακάλεσε μη γένομαι κτήμα μη βρώμα του αλωτρίου, σωτήρ αυτός με ικτήρι ικτήρον. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. A man of great wealth and righteous, abounding in riches and cattle, clothed in royal dignity, in crown and purple robe, Job became suddenly a beggar, stripped of wealth, glory and kingship. Ελέησον με ο Θεός, ελέησον με, η δίκαιος είναι εκείνο και άμεμπτος παραπάντας και ούκα πέδρα, τα του πλάνου ένετρα τα σκάματα, σύφυλλα μαρτίμων ούσα τάλαινα, ψυχή τι ποιήσεις εάν τι το αδοχή των συμβεί επενεχθήνεσαι. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Now I speak boastfully with boldness of heart, yet all to no purpose and in vain. O righteous judge, who alone are compassionate, do not condemn me with the Pharisee, but grant me the abasement of the publican and number me with him. Eleison me, O Theos, eleison me. Eximarthon en ivrisas to skevos to tis sarkos mou, ida ektirmon, ale metania me paralave, και εν επιγνώσει ανακάλεσέ με, μη γένω με κτήμα μη βρώμα του αλωτρίου, σωτήρ αυτός με ήκτηρον. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I have become my own idol, utterly defiling my soul with the passions, but accept me in repentance and call me back to knowledge. Let me not become the possession and fruit of the enemy, but, O Saviour, take pity on me. Ελέησον με, ο Θεός, ελέησον με. Ουκ οίκουσα τη φωνή σου, παρήκουσα τη γραφή σου την ομοθέτου. Αλλά εν μετανία με παράλαβε και εν επιγνώση ανακάλεσε. Μη γένω με κτήμα, μη βρώμα του αλωτρίου. Σωτήρ αυτό με ήκτηρον. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. You were brought down from the abyss of great iniquity, yet not held fast within it, but with better intent you mounted through action to the height of virtue, past all expectation, and the angels, O Mary, was amazed at you. Doxa patri ke yo ke yo pnevmati, ameriston tin usia asihiton tis prosopis theologose tin triadikin mian theotita os omo vasilion ke sim. Σύνθρονον βοώσει το άσμα το μέγα, το εν υψίστης τρισός κοινολογουμένον. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. You give birth and are a virgin, and in both you remain by nature inviolate. 
He who is born makes new of the laws of nature, and the womb brings forth without travail. When God so wills, the natural over- order is overcome, for he does whatever he wishes. Εκνικτώσον τρίζοντα φιλάνθρωπε, χώτισον δέο με και οδήγησον τα μέ τη προστάγμασή σου, και δίδαξον με ποιήν αεί το θέλημά σου. Early in the morning when I rise from night, give me your light, I pray, and direct me in the way of your divine commandments, and teach me always to do your will, O gracious Master. Eleison me, O Theos, eleison me, thicha me syngiptusan imimu o psychi proselpe prospeson tis posi tu Iisu inase anorthrosi ke vimatisis have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You are a deep well, O Master. Make springs gush forth for me from your pure veins, that like the woman of Samaria I may drink and thirst no more, for from you flow the streams of life. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Master and Lord, may my tears be to me as Siloam that I also may wash clean the eyes of my heart, and with my mind behold you, pre-eternal light. O sia to Theou, presbeve iperimon, a singrito eroti panol vie, silom bothisasa proskinise, tu stavru ixiose, tu bothu axioson uncame dihin tis anodoxis. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We glorify you, O Trinity, the one God. Holy, holy, holy are you, Father, Son, and Spirit, simple essence and unity worshipped forever. Και νυν και αεί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, εξού ημφιά σατο το φύραμά μου, Αφθορε άμανδρε μη προπάρθενε Θεός οκτήσα στους αιώνας και ίνωσεν εαυτόν την των ανθρώπων φύσιν. I cried aloud and shouted with all my heart unto the tender loving God and he heard my voice from the lowest depths of Hades and he raised my life from the pit of corruption. Εβόησα εν όλη καρδιά μου προς τον ικτήρμονα Θεό και επίκουσέ μου εξάδου κατωτά Του have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. O Saviour, I am the coin marked with the King's likeness, which you lost of old. But, O Word, light your lamp, your forerunner, and seek and find again your image. Eleison me, O Theos, eleison me, antistithi ke katapolemison os Iisus tu amalik, tin sarkosta pathi ke tus gavaonitas, have Holy Mother Mary pray to God for us. Your soul on fire, O Mary, you ever shed streams of tears to quench the burning of the passions. Grant the grace of these your tears to me also your servant. Osia tu Theu presbeve perimon, apathian ectiso uranion, the Ακροτάτης επιγής πολιτίας μήτερ, διότους σε ημνούντας εκ παθών ριστίνε πρεσβίες σου δισόπι. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I am the Trinity, simple and undivided, yet divided in persons, and I am the unity by nature one, says the Father and the Son and the Divine Spirit. Και νυν και αεί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, η μήτρα σου, Θεόν ημίν έτεκε με μορφωμένον καθημάς αλλός χτίσιν πάντων δυσόπι Θεοτόκε είνα τες πρεσβείες τες σες δικαιοθέωμεν. My soul, O oh my soul, rise up. Why are you sleeping? The end draws near and soon you shall be troubled. Watch then that Christ your God may spare you for he is everywhere present and fills all things. Ημάρτωμεν, ηνομήσαμεν, Ιδικήσαμεν ενώπιόν σου, ουδέ συνετηρήσαμεν, ουδέ επιήσαμεν, καθώς ενετήλω ημίν, αλλά μη παραδόης ημάς εις τέλος, ότι τον Πατέρον Θεός. 
we sinned, O Lord, and we broke your law, we behaved unrighteously before you, and neither have we kept your word, nor acted according to the way you commanded for us. Yet, O God of the fathers, we pray, do not utterly deliver us up. Eleison me, O Theos, eleison me, exelipon, e imere mu, os enipnion, e γυρωμένου όθεν ως εξερκίας δακρύο επικλίνης μου προσθύνεμι χρόνους ζωής, αλλά της Ισαΐας παραστήσετε μη ψυχή ή μη ο πάντων Θεός. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. I fall before you, and as tears I offer you my words. I have sinned as the harlot never sinned, and I have transgressed as no other man on earth. But take pity on your creature, O Master, and call me back. Eleison me, O Theos, eleison me, catechrosa, tin icona su, ke parephthira, tin endolin su, olon apimadrofi to kalos, ke tis pathesin esvesti, sotir i lampas, alictiras, apodisme, os psalin david tin agaliasin. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Turn back, repent, uncover all that you have hidden. Say to God, to whom all things are known, You alone know my secret, O Saviour. Have mercy on me, as David sings, according to your great mercy. Ουσία του Θεού πρέσβευε υπέρ ημών. Βοήσασα προς την άχραντον Θεομήτωρα, πριν απεκρούσω λύσα παθών διαίων οχλούντων, και κατήσχυνας εχθρών των πτερνίσαντα, αλλά δώσ νυν βοήθιαν εν θλίψεως καμή το δούλο σου. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. He whom you loved, O Mother, whom you desired, in whose footsteps you followed, he it was who found you and gave you repentance, for he is compassionate God. Pray, O Mary, to him without ceasing, that we may be delivered from passions and distress. Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Υιό Πνεύματι, τριάς απλή αδιέρετε ομοούσιε μονάς Αγία, φώτα και φως και Άγια Τρία, και εν Άγιο υμνείτε Θεός η τριάς, αλ, αλανύμνησον δόξασον ζωήν και ζωάς ψυχή των πάντων Θεών. Both now endeavor unto the ages of ages. Amen. We praise you, we bless you, we venerate you, O Mother of God. For you gave birth to one of the undivided Trinity, your Son and God, and you opened the heavenly places to us on earth. Ον στρατιέ ουρανών δοξάζουσι, και φρύπτη τα χερουβήμ και τα σεραφήμ, πάσα πνοή και κτήσι συμνείτε, ευλογείτε και υπερυψούτε εις πάντας τους αιώνας. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. As precious ointment, O Saviour, I empty on your head the alabaster box of my tears. Like the harlot, I cry out to you, seeking your mercy. I bring my prayer and ask to receive forgiveness. Ελέησόν με, ο Θεός, ελέησόν με. Ή και μη δεις, ως εγώ, σοι ήμαχθεν, αλλά όμως δέξε καμέ, εύσπλαχνε σωτήρ, φόβο μετανοούντα, και πόθο και κραγώτα, ήμαχτον σι μόνο, ηνόμισα ελέησόν με. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Spare the work of your own hands, O Saviour, and as a shepherd seek the lost sheep that has gone astray. Snatch me from the wolf and make me a nursling in the pasture of your own flock. Ελέησόν με, ο Θεός, ελέησόν με, όταν κριτής καθίσεις, ως εύσπλαχνος και δείξεις την φοβεράν δόξαν σου Χριστέ, ο ποιος φόβος τότε καμίνου και ομένης πάντων δηλειόντων το άστεκτον του βήματός σου. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. The mother of the light that never sets illumined you and freed you from the darkness of the passions. O Mary, who received the grace of the Spirit, give light to those who praise you with faith. Ο Σία του Θεού πρέσβευε υπέρ ημών, θαύμα και νόν, κατηδόν εξίστατο, ο Θείος όντος εν σύ, μήτερ ζωσιμάς, άγγελον γαρ αιώρα, εν σώματι και θάμβους, όλος επληρούτο Χριστόν υμνών εις τους αιώνας. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Father without beginning, co-eternal Son, and loving Comforter, the Spirit of Righteousness, begetter of the Word of God, Word of the Eternal Father, Spirit living and creative, 
Trinity and Unity, have mercy on me. Και νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Ως εκβαθής αλλουργίος άχραντε η νοητή πορφυρής του Εμμανουήλ ένδων εν τη γαστρή σου εις άρξ συνεδειξηφάνθη όθεν θεοτόκε εν αληθεία σε τιμόμεν. The birth is ineffable, conceived without the seed of man, the unwed mothers. Childbirth was free of all corruption. The birth of God makes new again the natures, and thus in orthodox manner all generations magnify you as the mother and the bride of God. Eleison me, O Theos, eleison me, splachnistiki soson me, i edavi de eleison me, o demonondas logo i asamenos fonin de tin efsplachnon, ως το ληστή μη φράσον, αμήν σύ λέγω με τεμού, έσυ εν το παραδείσο, όταν έλθω εν τη δόξη μου. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. A robber accused you, a robber confessed your Godhead, for both were hanging beside you on the cross. Open to me also, O Lord of many mercies, the door of your glorious kingdom, as once it was open to your robber who acknowledged you with faith as God. Ελέησόν με, ο Θεός, ελέησόν με, ικτήσεις συνήχθετε, και το σταυρούμενον σε βλέπουσα όρι και πέτρε φόβο διερήγοντο και γη συνεσίετο και άδεις εγυμνούτο και συνεσκότασε το φως εν ημέρα καθορών σε Ιησού προσιλεμόνον σαρκή. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Do not demand from me worthy fruits of repentance, for my strength has failed within me. Give me an ever contrite heart and poverty of spirit that I may offer these to you as an acceptable sacrifice, O only Saviour. O Sia to Theu, presbeve i perimon, a passas exestisas, tixeni politia su, angelon taxis, broton, ta systemata, a ilos viosasa, ke fisin ipervasa. Ανθών ω άειλο τη Ποσίν επιβαίνουσα σα Μαρία Ιορδάνη διεπέρασα. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. O Holy Mother, call down the gracious mercy of the Creator upon us who sing your praises, that we may be set free from the sufferings and afflictions that assail us. So without ceasing, delivered from temptations, we shall magnify the Lord who glorified you. Άγιε του Θεού, πρέσβευε υπερημών. Ανδρέα σεβάσμια και πάτερ, τρισμακάριστε ποιμήν της Κρήτης, μη πάυσι δεόμενος υπέρ των σε υμνούντων, ειν αριστόμεν πάσης οργής και θλίψιος και φο, φοράς και πτεσμάτων ανεκάστων, οι τιμώντες σου τη μνήμην πιστός. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trinity in one essence, unity in three persons. We sing your praises. We glorify the Father. We magnify the Son. We worship the Holy Spirit. Truly one God by nature, life and lives, kingdom without end. Και εν ειν και αεί και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν, την πόλην σου φύλατε, Θεογεννήτορ Πάναγνε, εν σίγαρ αυτή πιστός βασιλεύουσα, και εν σί και κρατήνετε, και δια σου νικόσα τροπούτε πάντα πειρασμών και σκυλεύει πολεμίους και διέπει το υπήκουον. Ας πόρους η λήψε ως η τόκος ανερμήν εύκτος μήτρος ανάνδρου, ας πόρους η κύσης Θεού γαρή γέννησης και ενωπίτας πίσης, διός επάσε γενναίος Θεόν υμφω μητέρα, Ορθοδόξος μεγαλύνομαι. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages.
have your saints as intercessors and your benevolence being compassionate towards us, how would we dare to extol you, O Saviour, whom the angels bless unceasingly? O you who know our hearts, spare our souls, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Theotokos, my offences are indeed very many. To you I run, O maiden pure, and I pray for salvation. Visit my infirm and ailing soul and pray for me to your Son and our God to grant to me forgiveness for the evils I have done, O only blessed lady. O oh, holy Theotokos, for the duration of my life, do not entrust me to any human protest. 
affliction. Do not abandon me, but do you yourself defend and have mercy on me. In passion, el pidan muy sean a ti fimi, miter tu ceu, ilaxun me ipotin skepin su. Lord of mercy, 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 ο εν παντή καιρό και πάση ώρα, εν ουρανό και πηγή προσκυνούμενο και δοξαζόμενο Χριστό ο Θεό, ο μακρόθυμο, ο πολυέλαιο, ο πολυεύσπλαχνο, ο τη δικαίου αγαπών και του αμαρτωλού ελαιών, ο πάντα καλών προσωτηριάν για τη επαγγελία των μελών των αγαθών. Αυτό κύριε πρόσδεξε και η μόνη τη ώρα τα αύτητα εντεύξει, και ήθηνον τη ζωή νυμών μπροστά στην του λάσου, τα ψυχά σημών αγίασον, τα σώματα άγνωσον, του λογισμού διόρθωσον, τα σενία κάθαρον, και ρίσε η μάσα από πάση, θλίψεω, κακών και οδύνη. Τύχησον η μάσα, γη σου αγγέλη, ή να την παρεμβολή αυτών κρουρούμενη, και οδηγούμενη καταντήσωμενη στην ενότητα τη πίστεω. Και στην επίγνωση τη απορρίτου σου δόξη, ότι οι ευλογητώσει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, δόξα πατρί και ιό και αγίο πνεύματι, και νυν και αή και στου αιώνα των αιώνων. Αμήν. Την τιμιωτέραν των χερουβίν και ενδοξωτέραν ασυγκρίτω των σεραφίν. Την αδιαφθόρο, θεών λόγων τεκούσαν, την όντω θεοτόχων σε μεγαλυνωμέν. Εν ονόματι κυρίου, ευλόγησον πάτερ. May God have compassion on us and bless us. May his face shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, do not permit the spirit of laziness and meddling, the lust for power and idle talk to come into me. Instead, grant me your servant the spirit of prudence, humility, patience and love. Yes, Lord and King, give me the power to see my own faults and not to judge my brother. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and have mercy on me. Yes, Lord and King, give me the power to see my own faults and not to judge my brother. For you are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. O spotless, unstained, incorruptible, undefiled, pure virgin, lady, bride of God, who through your wondrous birth giving united God the word with mankind and linked the fallen nature of our human race with the heavenly, the only hope of the hopeless and the help of the persecuted, the ready support of those who seek refuge in you and the shelter of all Christians. Do not despise me, the wretched sinner, who have defiled myself with shameful thoughts and words and deeds, and through negligence of thought have become slave to the pleasures of life. 
but as the mother of our compassionate God and a friend of man, have compassion on me, the sinner and prodigal, and accept this prayer from my impure lips. And using your motherly standing, entreat your son and our master and Lord to open unto me the depths of his loving goodness and overlooking my innumerable faults to return me to repentance and make me a worthy servant of his commandments. Stand by me forever in this life as a merciful and compassionate and good and lovingly warm protector and helper by repulsing the assaults of the adversary and leading me towards salvation. And at the time of my death, by embracing my miserable soul and driving far away from it the dark faces of the evil demons. And at the awesome day of judgment, by redeeming me from eternal hell and proclaiming me an heir of the ineffable glory of your Son and our God. May I enjoy such fate, my Lady, most holy Theodokos, through your intercession and protection, through the grace and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Saviour Jesus Christ, to whom belong all glory, honour and worship, together with his beginningless Father and the all-holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Te dosimin despota prosipnon apiusin, anapavsin somatos ke psichis, και διαφύλαξον ημάς από του ζωφερού ύπνου της αμαρτίας και από πάσης σκοτεινής και νυχτερινής ειδιπαθίας, πάψοντας ορμάς των παθών, σβέστον τα πεπυρωμένα βέλη του πονηρού τα καθημών δολιώς κινούμενα, τα της σαρκός ημών επαναστάσεις κατάστηλων και παν γεώδες και υλικών ημών φρόνημα κίνησον, και δόρισε ημίν ο Θεός γρήγορον νουν, σόφρον αλογισμών, καρδίαν νύφουσαν, ύπνον ελαφρών, και πάσης σατανικής φαντασίας απειλαγμένων, διανάστησον να ημάς εν το καιρό της προσευχής, εστηριγμένους εν τις εντολές σου, και τη μνήμη των σών κρυμάτων, εν εαυτής απαράφραυστον έχοντας, πανήχιον τιμήν την σύνδοξολογίαν χάρισε, εις το ημνήν και δο, ευλογήν και δοξάζην, το πάντημον και μεγαλοπρεπές όνομά σου, του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, Most glorious ever virgin, blessed Theotokos, bring our prayer before your Son and our God and entreat him through you to save our souls. Η ελπίς μου πατήρ, καταφυγή μου Υιός, σκέπη μου το Πνεύμα το Άγιον, τριάς Αγία Δόξαση. O Mother of God, I have committed my every hope wholly unto you. Keep me under your shelter. Let us supplicate to the Lord our God that we may be deemed worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy, Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The Gospel is according to Saint Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. The Lord said, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened for you. Indeed, everyone who asks receives. Whoever seeks finds. To the one who knocks, it will be opened. Who is there among you who, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, who will give him a snake? If you then, who are evil, still know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask of him? Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. Most merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through the intercessions of our most pure Lady, the Theodorcus and ever-Virgin Mary, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honourable bodiless powers of heaven, through the supplications of the honourable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious and victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers and mothers, of our venerable father, Paisius the Athenite, patron and protector of our holy archdiocese in Australia, of our venerable mother Paraskivi the great martyr, of the holy great martyr Barbara, and of our father amongst the saints, John the merciful patriarch of Alexandria, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints, 
Make our supplication acceptable to you. Amen. Grant us forgiveness of our transgressions. Amen. Protect us under the shelter of your wings. Amen. Drive away from us every enemy and adversary. Amen. Grant peace to our life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us and on your world. Amen. And save our souls as a good and loving God. Amen. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord, have mercy. For the pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop Magarios. Lord, have mercy. For our absent fathers, brothers and sisters. Lord, have mercy. For those who help us and those who serve us. Lord, have mercy. For those who hate us and those who love us. Lord, have mercy. For those who have asked us the unworthy to pray for them. Lord, have mercy. For the release of the captives. Lord, have mercy. For those who are traveling. Lord, have mercy. For those laid up with illnesses, Lord have mercy. Let us also pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, Lord have mercy. And for all our fathers and brethren departed like life, those who lie here in peace and the Orthodox everywhere. Lord have let mercy. Let us say for ourselves also, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. On seeing your unjust slaughter, O Christ. Your pure mother cried in grief, O oh, my sweet child, how is it that you die so lawlessly? How is it that you who has suspended all the earth upon the flood of waters are now yourself suspended from the tree. O most merciful benefactor, do not leave me, your mother and handmaid alone. Oh. Διευχών των Αγίων Πατέρων ημών, Κύριε Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός, Ελέησον και σώσον ημάς. Αμήν. Those who have stayed for the talk, um, we'll start in just a couple of moments. All right, we'll get starting straight away because already we've, the time has passed. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father. Through him all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became human and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and rose on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, and who spoke through the prophets. 
in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and life of the age to come. Amen. Okay. Take a seat. And probably most of you are, are aware of the service that we conducted tonight and that we conduct every weeknight throughout Lent. Um, and a lot of you had the, were following along in the, in the service books, the Great Compline. Uh, usually the Great Compline, uh, it takes about an hour to read. Um, but tonight or the first week of Great Lent, it takes a little longer because uh, the reason why is we read from the great canon of St. Andrew of Crete. So after the fourth week of Lent, just so you know, um, during the fourth week of Lent we read this great canon of St. Andrew of Crete, which is done once a year. It's recited once a year. And it's you hear um, that repeated, have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. It's a beautiful, beautiful, um, very deep and theological poem. Um, and hymns of repentance, which were written by St. Andrew of Crete. That's why it's called the Great Canon of St. Andrew of Crete. Um, but in the first week of Lent, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, we read that in portions, in sections. Uh, um, so not entirely, but we read it throughout the four days. And then it's read in entirely again on the fourth week. They're beautiful words. Those of you who had them and were following along or those who are able to access them, these days um, there's that app that I know that most of you are familiar with. If you're not for whatever reason, um, it's called Digital Chant Stand. It's an app called Digital Chant Stand and it has all the services um, of every day not just for Lent, but for every day of the year. It's got the readings. And so if for whatever reason you're stuck, you can just download that app and then see where, you're, where we are, what, what service we're doing, great compliant person, and then it's there in front of you and you'll be able to follow the service. Um, but for those as well who don't like to hold their phones during the service, which is understandable, there are the service books as well, the more traditional, which personally I prefer anyway. So we've entered by God's grace into Lent. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, it'll be a shorter talk today because it's already 8.30, past 8.30. And we'll continue from the book of Revelation um, as we have been doing over the past weeks. We were speaking about the seals, the seven seals and the opening of them. And the last one uh, that we spoke about uh, last week was um, the one which had to do with famine. So where... Yes, not the right one. Seal 4, the widespread death. When he opened the, four seal, the fourth seal, seal um, and just so for reference, this is chapter 6, verse 7 of Revelation. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come and see. So I looked and behold a pale horse, and the name of him who sat on it was Death. And Hades followed with him. And power was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with the sword, with hunger, with death and by the beasts of the earth. All right. So the pale horse obviously symbolizing death. Uh, in, in Greek, it's more, the color is more yellowish. Um, it's described as a, a yellow color. When someone dies, we know that what they do, they lose their color and they become, um, they become pale. And so on this horse sat death, all right, obviously uh, a personification of death, um, just an image, and Hades. H 
Hades, what's Hades? The place um, where we would say the unrighteous souls would go. So following death, Hades was behind death. When Christ was crucified, we know that he descended where? Into Hades. Hades is not hell. Um, hell is one thing. Hades is another thing. Uh, hell, as the scripture describes to us, has been prepared by the devil and his angels. There are a few references in the scriptures to hell, and one of them is that when Christ comes in his glory, at his second coming, on his right hand will be the righteous, and on his left will be the sinners, the unrepentant sinners, the unrighteous. And he tells the righteous who, um, he uses the symbol of the sheep, the sheep on his right hand, to come and enter into his kingdom. Um, enter into the kingdom which has been prepared for them. And we know, what, we know the rest according to the judgment. We said it last week as well. And those on the left, he says, to depart from me, you cursed, cursed and wicked, to where? To hell, the everlasting fire, which has been prepared not for, but by the devil and his angels. I think that's a very important point to make because we know that God could not have created hell. And he, it was not in his will to create that. Everything that God has created is good and perfect. That place which we call hell will be the eternal place of, of, of punishment, say for the devil, because he has chosen to go there so he can be away from God. It is his kingdom. And so, therefore, it's only logical that those who follow the ways of the devil, those who um, choose that path, will also go there because that's where they've chosen to go. And as we've said in the past as well, and from what we know, everyone has had the opportunity and has the opportunity to listen to the Word of God, to either live by the Word of God, and whether that's been because it's been preached to them, whether it's because they have a conscience. And so for so many reasons, everyone has that, had that opportunity to be saved, and whether someone chooses that or not is then up to them. No one will ever go to the judgment seat of Christ and say that they did not know. That won't be an excuse on the day of judgment. There won't be an excuse. Everyone will have had an opportunity to either choose righteousness and holiness or to reject that and follow the works of the devil. And he says that in those times, in the times to come, there will be so much, um, people will be so far from God that amongst the people, death will spread. Now, that death will be even, um, whether, whether be uh, through the sword, in other words, by war, um, with hunger, as we mentioned as well in the last one, and the beasts um, and the beasts of the earth. So we know that there will be that such an apostasy that no longer people will regard each other as brothers and sisters. And I think what's important here to look at and to focus on is and to remember as well is this is not just something that will occur outside the church. This is something that will happen amongst the Christians. So hatred 
will be amongst Christians. And if you remember when um, Christ says, but also St. Paul mentions this in Romans, but also in Galatians, that people will become so perverse, the faith will become so perverse, the so-called faith will become so perverse that they will be leaving what is natural for them. They will no longer be worshipping God the Creator, but they will be worshipping themselves. And by doing this, they will be saying that they, will, they are worshipping God. So they will make idols of themselves. And so God will abandon them and they'll be falling into perverse things. Christ says that the hearts of men will grow cold. That there will be no longer, no longer there will, will there be love for each other. And we see this. We see this phenomenon, phenomenon happening especially nowadays where the Christian church is divided not into just hundreds of sects, but thousands. There is no unity amongst Christians. There is no harmony amongst Christians. And that's because we've returned to the first state that it was when man first fell. No longer do we have that compassion and that love that we should for, have for one another. Um, it says that one-fourth of one-quarter of the, the, the population will be wiped out in, in this way. Through, um, through hunger, through sword, in other words, battles and, and, and the things that are mentioned. Um, Remember what we said that a lot of the things that are in these prophecies of Revelation have occurred and are reoccurring. So they're not just something that will happen, but have happened as well in the past. I mean, remember the first created, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve had how many sons? The ones that we know of. Two, Abel and Cain. Okay. Cain kills, performs, does the first murder and the first death. Cain kills his brother Abel, his own brother. And so how, ma how many people of the population are wiped out? One fourth. That's it. So things like that um, it, it are included in what is being said here. Now, a lot of the times we see things like what happened, just to bring up an example. Um, a lot of you know about the war in Russia and between Russia and Ukraine at the moment. Okay? Two countries that are both Christian countries, both Orthodox countries, and yet fighting against each other and killing each other. Why? because they aren't able to bring the peace of Christ amongst them and have allowed other things to come in between them, forgetting about who they are as an identity, which means Christian. Now, I think it's important to remind you of the point of our identity. Everyone is different characteristically. Okay? So... Um, everyone has a different character and which makes up who they are. But I, our identity is something which is collective because it means that we're part of one body. And that for us is a Christian. Our identity is being a Christian. And we see this so beautifully in the lives of the saints, especially the martyrs of the church, who, when they were brought before trial and they were asked who they were, they would reply, I'm a Christian. Where are, they, where are you from? I'm a Christian. 
So that was everything that they responded to. To say that I'm a Christian because that's my identity and that's all that's important. Before anything else, I belong to Christ and I'm Christ. Now, what has happened and what will continue to happen if we don't repent is that then we slowly start to lose that identity and start to identify us, ourselves as something else. Okay, as we see happening so much today. And so being a Christian then moves to the side. And you ask someone, who are you? Where are you from? And they'll tell you, for example, um, who their parents are, what they study and whatever. That's fine. But even in our conscience, we've forgotten what it means to be part of the body of Christ and to identify, most importantly, as a Christian. Um, <clears throat> for, the, for those of you who, um, who are Greek, uh, amongst you, we, we see this very much um, embedded in our culture. That up until recently, it was almost impossible to say that you're Greek, for example, and not to be a Christian. When we were under Ottoman rule, um, when we were under Ottoman rule, if a Christian renounced their orthodoxy, they renounced their entire identity. And so what did that mean? So if I was a Greek and I came under pressure because of the Ottomans and, because, and they gave me pressure because, and like with the taxes and whatever and I wanted to live a better life so I decided to renounce my faith and become a Muslim then what I do is I renounce my identity. That's why in Greek when we say that someone renounced their faith and they became Muslim, we'd, we, they would say Turkepse. They became Turks. So they. So what happens is then they lose, they, they lost everything. They lost their culture. They renounced their culture. They renounced their language. So they stopped even speaking the Greek language. And, start, and, and even with the clothes that they were, wore became different. Their entire identity was lost because they renounced their faith. Okay, It was their faith that made them who they were. Everything about them had to do with their faith. And that's why up until very recently, it was almost impossible to imagine that you could be a Greek and not to be Christian, not to be Orthodox. Now we know things are very different. Okay. Um, So the next seal, just quickly. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, until you judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on earth, on the earth? Then a white robe was given to each of them, and it was said to them, that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren would be killed as they were, um, as they were, was completed. Okay. So, the martyrs of the church, those who were slain, asked them for avenging of, of the blood that they shed. He says here, and ever, as I said in the beginning when we first started talking about the book of Revelation, that Revelation is also what we call not just a prophetic book, but it's also a liturgical book. It says, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. In other words, those who had been killed because they believed in Christ. Now, I don't know whether you know this or not, but 
the very early Christians, the first Christians, would celebrate what we would call the Eucharist, okay, the Divine Liturgy. Where would they celebrate the Divine Liturgy? Can anyone take a guess or tell me if they know? Where would they celebrate the Divine Liturgy? Tombs, okay, on tombs. I'm going to grab the microphone. They would celebrate the Divine Liturgy on tombs, but specifically, which tombs? Martyrs, okay? So, the Eucharist, the, the very first Christians would celebrate the Eucharist on the tombs of the martyrs. And so, um, because of the witness that they held of... Um, um, of their faith in Christ. And so they, the, the tombs of the martyrs became the very first altars. Now, in every single church that there is, now that we're allowed to build churches and there's no longer Christian persecution and so forth, every single church that there is, when a church is consecrated, in other words, when we bless a church and so that it, it can be a church and then nothing else, it can't be used for anything else. In the altar, we take, the, we take relics of, the, of martyrs, certain martyrs, and they have to be martyrs, not just saints, they have to be martyrs, and we place them in the altar so that the divine liturgy is celebrated on um, the relics of the martyrs. If the church isn't consecrated, again, the same thing would happen. So if I had to go, say, and perform a liturgy in somewhere rural, okay, where there's no church, a priest would take with him what's called the andimintio, which is a cloth. And on that cloth is where we celebrate the divine liturgy. Even on the altar tables here, we've got that cloth. It has an icon of the burial of Christ. It has the signature of the local bishop to show that we um, abide under that bishop. He is our shepherd. And inside that cloth is woven relics of martyrs. So even though um, we might not be able to celebrate on a consecrated altar table with relics in it, if in a case that I have to celebrate the liturgy somewhere else, I will have that cloth which is called the Andimension, and on that we will celebrate the Divine Liturgy, which has the relics in it of, of holy martyrs. And we get this from this passage of the Scriptures, where the martyrs are buried under the altar tables, and there they will ask to avenge those who, who, um, who's, who took their blood, avenge our blood on those we dwell on the earth. But Christ, as he always does, shows, um, shows his patience on the world. You see, God isn't in a hurry for all of this to happen. God does not, it is not in God's will to destroy the world. It is not even in God's will to destroy the sinners of the world. Okay, that is not what God wants from us. He does not want to destroy those who are, who are, who are corrupt. But we know that eventually that will happen, as Christ said himself, because there will be no faith left in the world. And because no faith will be left in the world, then all of this must come to an end. So these things will happen not because God wants them to happen or not because God has predicted them to happen, but because God has no other choice because the world has chosen to go that way. But more specifically, Christians have to chosen to, to go that way. If there's a reason why the world still exists today and is, and is continuing the way that it is, it is because there's still faithful people left. It is because there are still 
people of prayer that are left. It is because there are still people that are performing the divine liturgies and the sacraments, right? Um, and so Christ is, um, Christ is very patient and waits a, a little while longer until the fulfillment of all the faithful people has been completed. The last seal, seal six. Um, I looked when he opened the, the sixth seal, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became like blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth, as a fig tree drops its late figs, and it is shaken by a mighty wind. Then the sky receded as a scroll when it rolled up, and every mountain and island was moved out of its place. And the kings of the earth, the great men, the rich men, the, com the uh, commanders, the mighty men, every slave and every free man hid themselves in the caves and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath has come, and he, and who is able to stand? This, um, this um, last seal here, um, the, the sixth one, is a big message to all of us, all of us who sit and worry about what will happen to the world, what will happen to us, who sit and worry about um, corrupt governments, who worry about um, organizations like the Freemasons, like the Illuminati, all of, all of those things, you know, that we speak about amongst each other and we know what happens. You know, all of those people who, um, uh, all of us who, who think to ourselves, you know, how corrupt certain people and, and how powerful certain people are, like one of them, the Rothschild family, Etsy, um, or George Soros, for example. And we say that they're behind all these evil things that are happening. And whoever it is that will be at that time, all the people that rule the earth, remember, all this is a reference to who the world be got, be, belongs to. When Christ was being tempted in the desert, the devil shows him the kingdoms of the world. And he says, all of this is mine, and I will give it to you if you bow down and worship me. And Jesus said to him, you shall worship no one but the Lord your God, and only him shall you serve. Now, we know that within the world, there is a lot of corruption. Within the church, there is even corruption. We know that there are people, even within the, um, the church, that do not have, let's say, the faithful um, the, the faithful will, if I'm going to say that, that they should. They might even be leaders, like priests and bishops or patriarchs or whatever. And sometimes we hear, you know, of corruption even within the church. We hear of people who are very mighty and strong from a worldly perspective, okay, and putting corruption within the government within what we call the systems, creating what we call a new world order. All of these things I'm pretty sure you've heard of and are aware of, okay? All of that, whether, uh, I mean, all of that, and I think that it's safe to say that, yes, it does exist. And no one denies that this, is an, that this doesn't exist. And the, the, the reason why is it, it exists just so you know, the reason why that it exists is to attack the church 
of Christ. There is no other reason why but to attack the church of Christ. That's why all of these things exist. A few months ago, or so not even, less than, less than a few months ago, if you noticed, um, Greece, uh, the government in Greece, let's say, the government of Greece allowed um, homosexual marriage. So marriage between homosexual couples, they made it legal in Greece. And for us living here in Australia, it's been a few years now. Um, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because we know that that's an agenda. This whole thing of the um, LGB, whatever community, this whole thing has nothing to do with equality. It's got nothing to do with diversity, but it's an agenda. Um, it, some of you, maybe someone, one of you, some of you might know, might know better than me. Is Serbia part of the European Union right now? I don't think it is. Okay, but I know if if it is now, whatever. I don't I don't know if anything's changed. But do you know why it's not or hasn't been until if recently? If it did, it did. I don't know if it has or not. Um, but from the last time I checked, which was, which was probably last year sometime, Serbia was not part of the European Union. Even though Serbia wanted to join the European Union, it wasn't. Serbia is an orthodox country, right? Do you know why the European Union rejected them and did not accept them as part of the European Union? And this is a fact. It's very, just do a simple Google search and you'll see this. Because Serbia refused to do a Mardi Gras for gay and lesbians. And because Serbia refused to hold these types of pride parades, the so-called pride parades, then they were rejected from the European Union. Okay. So, Greece, I don't know what the deal was back then when, when, it first, when they first entered the European Union, but whether they wanted to or not, they had to go with, they had to go with the agenda. So it was inevitable for them to legalize the things that they've legalized lately. But my issue was, well, what brought me to my attention was that why would, um, since when did Channel 10 and Channel 9 care so much about orthodoxy, right? Because on the mainstream media, when Greece first legalized all these things. Channel 10, Channel 9, Channel 7 were saying, they weren't saying that Greece has legalized gay marriage. They were saying Greece, the first Orthodox country to legalize gay marriage. The first Orthodox country. The first Orthodox country. And that's all you heard. Not Greece. Okay. But the first Orthodox country to legalize gay marriage. And they made sure that they made a point of it. Why? Because this is the agenda. Okay? Demographically, demographically, Greece has the most orthodox, not the most orthodox population, but percentage wise, okay, the population of Greece is mostly orthodox. Okay. Um, and so it's not surprising that, yes, Greece was the first to fall into this, the first Orthodox country, let's say. Okay. Now, just because the government has, it, has accepted it doesn't mean that the people have. I think that the majority of people, just like here, do not accept something like that. Okay. But the point is to destroy everything which holds 
the orthodox faith, the Christian faith and values. Okay? And so that's why it wasn't voted in, it was forced upon them. There's a difference. Okay? It was forced upon them. Just like a bishop in Greece said, said, because the church, and there's another thing which is very unique in Greece, which is that the church and the state work together. The church actually has a say in this, um, in, in decisions that the government makes a lot of the times. It does have an influence. It's got an influence. And, the, and when I heard that, you know, um, this was legalized now in Greece, I was taken back, not so much that it was legalized by the government, but I was thinking to myself, since the church has a say, okay, and can um, persuade somehow the government, where was the church in all of this? I was very surprised of where the, why the church seemed to be so silent. And it wasn't until the Bishop of Larissa um, spoke out about this afterwards and, uh, and said, I'm happy, he said, that, the church, that, that we were excluded from this. So the government purposely excluded the voice of the Church of Greece and what else? Mount Athos. The voice of Mount Athos from making this decision. Because he goes, then that would have meant that we cooperated in this. Okay. And so that's another thing that we have to be very careful of. It's not just a matter of seeing someone else sin, but it's what we have to do, uh, what, what part we play in it as well. Like someone, like I heard not long ago in a certain talk where someone called, um, a, a woman called her friend and said to her, um, please give me the number to your gynecologist. I want the phone number to your gynecologist because I'm pregnant and I want the baby and I want to have an abortion. So I gave her the number. And then she called her confessor saying, I made a mistake, I did something wrong because I helped, I collaborated in someone else's sin. Okay, I consented to that by giving just the phone number. Okay, She could have said no. She could have said find someone else or find it. But whatever, I can't be a part of this. Okay, so um, this is this was the situation in Greece that the church, because it's got a voice and a pretty powerful one, was excluded in all of this, and they weren't allowed to um, be present in government or share their, their voices or opinions. Basically. They were told to be quiet. The same thing that happened during COVID as well. And they'll be, um, they were made to be like puppets. But Mount Athos as well. Mount Athos, uh, why? Because it's the monastic center of orthodoxy. A place where, you know, three to 5,000 monks live. More than a thousand liturgies are celebrated every day on Mount Athos. Every day, more than a thousand liturgies are celebrated. Okay. How can that place not have some sort of influence, you know, on Greece and the world? And so it's don't see it as something which is um, something strange. That you know you hear a lot about things in Greece. Another issue, do you think that it's a coincidence um, that the, there is, um, Greece has a problem at the moment with uh, being dumped with illegal immigrants? Hmm? That's, that's not something which is coincidental. Okay, it's not just something that that happens because Greece just happens to be where it is. No. 
to purposely mix the, the, the population, okay? And we know, what are they? Most of, most of them are Muslims. Let's be honest with us. We're talking openly now. And when you put in a Muslim family next to a Christian family, okay, the Muslim family will have eight kids, and the Christian family will have one, and think about if they're ready to have a second one, when they're ready. Okay? And so what will eventually happen? Of course, then, the Christians will become a minority, and others who worship foreign gods, okay, will become majority. But then whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? Okay, it's not the government's fault. Who said the government? <laughs> it's our fault. It's our fault. We are to blame for this. Okay. Because we've lost our identity. Who we are. Who we're supposed to be. We've lost our priorities. Okay. Um, and I can get into a whole heap of things regarding that. Priorities and identities right now. A whole heap, heap of things just came to my head. But I'm going to keep it here all night and it's quarter past nine. Um, questions, comments before we finish? Do you want to, does anyone have something to say? Anyone? If you're tired, you want to go to sleep. Right? Oh, good. Okay. I'll let you be then. Well, let's pray. And the Christ, the true light, who enlightens and sanctifies every human coming into this world, may the light of your countenance shine on us so that in it we may see the unapproachable light and guide our paths to the work of your commandments. By the intercessions of your spotless mother and all your saints, through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Have a blessed evening. God give you strength. Can you just turn the live stream?